Okay, so for mounting this bracket, the first thing that you need to realize is it's going to be screwed on to the inside unit. So there's this one screw normally, a, a, a mini split, holds this bracket onto the inside unit, and that's just for shipping purposes. You want to remove the bracket and then figure out where you're going to put it on an outside wall of your home garage, etc. Why on an outside wall? Because you need to make sure the condensate goes through this wall and, and outside. If You could potentially do it on an inside wall, but then you need a condensate pump and it's a lot more work. So ideally, pick an outside wall. And for this particular air spool unit, you can either choose to be seven and a quarter inch inches to the left of this screw or seven and a quarter inches to the right of this screw. First thing you want to do is you want to find a bit half inch or smaller to drill through the wall and make sure you're not near any electrical, any gas, etc. that's going to be disruptive when you, when you haul out this bad boy and start drilling big holes through the wall, okay? So first kind of just do a visual inspection to make sure you're not near utility meters, etc. before drilling holes through your wall. Okay, so you're gonna, we're not going to actually do it here, but you're going to drill that. You're going to look, visually inspect to make sure it gets okay, looks okay. And then switch out your bit. We like this spider uh, two and a half inch bit. Does, does wonders for getting through your wall in a hurry. And also notice that we leveled this out. You know, it goes without saying that if you don't level this bracket out in the beginning, you're going to have a crooked inside unit later on, which is not a good look. 